Hello everyone, and welcome to my Vanderpump official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Vanderpump Rules overwhelmed the world in 2023 thanks to Scandival. However, long-term watchers realized that the show has served, served, famous minutes all along. Between the persistently emotional and untrustworthy cast, and some presently Emmy assigned, amazing altering, VPR at its best was wizardry like nothing else on television. As any Vanderpumper will tell you, reducing the most notorious minutes to a solitary list is hard. In any case, here are the ones that actually have fans shook right up to the present day. After their separation, Jax Taylor dropped in on Stassi Schroeder's birthday celebration. It lead to a hazardous battle with her new playmate, forthcoming, in a Las Vegas parking garage. Jax was so irate, he removed his adored cream thick Sue sweater to fight shirtless. Laura Lee, Jax's bounce back from Stassi, went to Juilliard. Perhaps that makes sense of her dramatic nature. Her beyond ridiculous showdown of Stassi in a SUR gathering gave us such jewels as remove the casualty tampon from your butt. Also, Lisa Vanderpump let Stassi know that her way of behaving did, as a matter of fact, sound like a ghetto asterisk titch. However, Laura Lee just showed up momentarily in season one. Her famously bizarre way of behaving has kept her a fan number one. Many have attempted to get down on Stassi's mean young lady shenanigans throughout the long term. In any case, did anybody leave her as shaken as the chimpmunk-voiced previous Tattle Young Lady Visitor star? In the wake of going so difficult to guard Jax, Laura Lee saw his genuine nature when Jax unloaded a large number of her opiates and on meeting. Eventually, she left just a tad part in the Jennifer Aniston parody where the mill operators. It was the slap heard round the world. After Jax at last confessed to laying down with Kristen Doubt, Stassi set up her large showdown, making a point to take note of the detail that they connected while watching Drive. Stassi added, I want to believe that you partook in the film. Kristen actually guaranteed, I didn't bang Jax, even after her previous best bud slapped her. In any case, by the final, she let it be known as well. As a respectable notice, Tom Sandoval likewise actually battled Jax over the disloyalty. Jack's grinning straightforwardly at the camera, with blood all over, is a picture fans will always remember. Regardless of bouncing back with James Kennedy, Kristen was in no way, shape or form over Sandoval in season three. Her vengeance dress endeavor came when she shook a low-profile green faction dress to go get her mail around mid-afternoon. Kristen later uncovered that it was a maker stunt. She was informed they'd shoot a sex and the city-themed early lunch soon after. However, makers didn't settle on her coincidentally decision Sandoval darling. I mean Tom. The dress is famous to the point that Kristen actually does TikToks wearing it right up till now. Kristen's incredible post-separation conduct strikes once more, subsequent to catching wind of her the entire season. The notorious Miami young lady at long last seemed to stand up to Sandoval face to face. Sandoval's response certain appeared to show reality with regards to whether they connected. However, right now, Ariana Maddox remained by him as they ran away from the area. No big surprise she presently laments safeguarding him so often. The aftermath was so extraordinary, it lead to Kristen. While smoking by the SUR dumpster, telling her manager to suck at asterisk kick. Shockingly, she was terminated not long after. Everybody recalls this as quite possibly a VPR's best line. Yet the second encompassing it is likewise famous. A genuinely off-the-wall Jax was an uncommon structure that evening. To start with, he demanded that Brittany Cartwright's boo occupation would need to be what he needed, on the grounds that he was the one paying for it. Then, at that point, Jax cut down Sandoval's yelling by telling him, man, quit behaving like you're the main person in this gathering. Jax, legitimately, additionally let Sandoval know that nobody thought often about his band. Clearly, Sandoval went crazy. Sandoval and Kristen were all the while squabbling about their relationship three seasons after their separation. 
During the all-around unhinged lone wolf slash single girl trip for Katie Maloney and Tom Schwartz's approaching marriage, Sandoval chose to battle with Kristen's new beau, Brian Carter. While he and Schwartz were in drag, for an extra notorious detail, who could fault Stassi for cresting around the bend? Moreover, who could fault Jax for declining to go out and reach out? Sometime thereafter, things got significantly more wild. And that implies, much more notorious. Sandoval shouting that Schwartz is a batter asterisk king spouse, and kicking down the way to uncover a grinning Schwartz sitting on the latrine is something watchers will never at any point neglect. Who can say for sure why Jax and Brittany thought it'd be smart to toss a housewarming after his most recent duping embarrassment? Yet, watchers are happy they did in light of the fact that the night was significant, without a doubt. Brittany and the young ladies assembled around to pay attention to a recording of Jax discussing her is a picture straight out of a Sofia Coppola film. The entire night was so notable, even James' sensational reenactment for Lisa could make this rundown. One of the most discussed VPR minutes, and understandably, this season six battle among James and Lala Kent is the show at its generally crazy. Is it true that they were truly battling about pasta? Is it a code word for an unlawful substance? Does it truly matter? Looking back, the way that they were battling about Rachel Levis pasta adds a completely separate level. Also, the manner in which James says pasta works everything out such that a lot more entertaining. Mikey at any point except this scene was nearly left on the cutting room floor. I surely can't. Very much like Ken Todd, can't accept that Tom Zandeville had Raquel over while Ariana's away. In the jacuzzi, it's no big surprise this montage, which shows the VPR editors at the level of their powers, is selected for an Emmy. It's difficult to pick only one second from the quickly famous Scandoval Aftermath episode that was season 10's final. To swindle a smidgen, I'm posting both of the Sandoval conflicts that bookmark the episode. Ariana's ideal verbalization of her catastrophe previously seemed like something out of a film before the Brian Cranston emotional perusing. In spite of the fact that her own issue began the show, Sheena Shea turned into a psy person, best case scenario, in most VPR seasons. However, her profound showdown of Sandoval left watchers staggering. Sheena returned to her pick me ways, which is frustrating yet to be expected. By the by, this second remaining part's famous. As a respectable notice, Tom Sandoval likewise actually battled Jax over the disloyalty. Jax grinning straightforwardly at the camera, with blood all over, is a picture fans will always remember. Regardless of bouncing back with James Kennedy, Kristen was in no way, shape, or form over Sandoval in season three. Her vengeance dress endeavor came when she shook a low-profile green faction dress to go get her mail around mid-afternoon. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.